In this short example, I will show you how you can use Bunch Up together with Sencha Architect 2. You only have to do two steps. The first step is you create a new JavaScript resource for a nicer display. I'm giving it an ID of Bunch here, but that's optional. And here you firstly have to define a path to your cake PHP installation. In my case, it's installed on the root folder, so just a slash. And then we point to bunch of slash JavaScript. Here are all our bunch of JavaScript files. And we use the special script tag initializer, which will work for Sencha Architect. And now we want to create a new model. And here we have two conventions. We have if we want to use the model as bunch of model, we have to use the same name here as we are using for the cake PHP model. So I'm using here the article cake PHP model. And then I define a new property and I set it to true. And this new bunch of property will then in the browser automatically inject all the fields, validation rules, uh, associations and the proxies, proxy setup. Sadly in Central Architect 2 we can't inject it here. That feature will come in Central Architect 3. That's all you have to do to set up the buncher side of creating Central Architect example projects. So now that we see something, we will create a nice grid. And for a grid, we first need to have a store. So we can use the standard store here because the proxy is already defined on the model. So we give it a name of articles and we define the model article. And here, on the grid panel, we select the store. And now we adopt our columns. This column is the title, and the data index is title. We don't need a number column, and the date column has the data index rated. That's one of the cake PHP magic um, columns. Okay, and that's it. Now we save it. And, and we publish it to the web root folder of cake PHP. Now we go in the browser and we, I type here my domain and point app HTML is the file Central Architect creates. Now open the file. Okay, so here we can now see our example. We can't see any data here. The reason for that is we have never loaded our store. Um, but we will do that here. So now, when you go in the Networks panel of your uh, developer tools, and you can select here XHR, you can see all the buncher requests which are done. Currently, the request to buncher dot, uh, buncher dispatcher was only the setup check, which is running in a debug version of buncher. We don't need that. So, um, so now, when we go and we get the store, and we invoke the load. You will see that it's loading. We can go in a networks panel. Here we can see that we had a successful read and with all the data. And you see one small mistake I did. The field was actually called date and I called it created. So I will change that in architect. 
actually I could already set the store to auto load now that I should do that and when we now open the example again voila we have the titles and dates of course now we would have to make some nice adjustments like add flags here so it fills the whole grid and stuff but that's not important from the from the bunch side okay i hope you like this small screencast and i hope you like working with sencha architect too